Hi YouTube, we've had a lot of questions about how many panels should I get, how sh how large should my battery system be. So we'll cover a bit of that now and at a very high level because every use case has a different scenario. But this is more looking at a regular small household. So let's go ahead. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to look take a look at your bill and make sure that it's an actual reading and not an estimate and then look out for this line how much of energy that you consumed for a month and usually it'll tell you over how many days this consumption is so in this case we're looking at 1344 kilowatt hours and it was over a period of 34 days which roughly equates to 39 kilowatt hours per day using that information Let's assume that you, at an initial inst install, you want to go with, say, eight 450 watt panels. Now, you should always go for the latest and greatest because depending on the size of your roof, you want to maximize that space on your roof by generating the largest amount of, of um, solar generation that you're capable of. So that gives you a rated kilowatt generation of 3,600 or 3.6 uh, kilowatts. Um, and then you can use this multiple as a reference and I've used this for my 410 uh, watt panels and generally it, it is quite accurate in giving you your expected generation. So if you take 3600 rated capacity multiplied by 4.76 that gives you 17,136 watts per hour and that's 17 kilowatt hours per day using that that gives you a generation a, an estimated generation of 527 kilowatt hours per month that's going to reduce your monthly consumption to 682 which is roughly 1700 rand if you add more panels, and it also again depends on the type of inverter that you have because there is a limit to how many panels you can add. The inverter has a current limit and a voltage limit. And if you go higher than what the inverter can handle, then you're going to damage your inverter. So make sure that that is sized correctly by your installer. So if you go with more panels, and if you add batteries, batteries are going to help you on cloudy days and also at night. That will obviously reduce your, your monthly buy from the utility, which is ESCOM or your municipality in this case. However, that will extend your initial cap capex and your payback period. So you got to look at what your reasons are for going into solar if it is to go completely off grid then then of course you will have to look at something that's going to you know a bigger a, a bigger battery bank and a larger number of panels to cover you through cloudy days and and the night as well now to reduce your bill even further you need to look at solar heating for your geezer and these evacuated tubes or evts are probably the most efficient out there right now this is this is better because from a cost perspective they are cheaper than solar pv so naturally it makes sense to go with evts instead of using solar pv i hope that that has answered some of your questions and thank you for watching and please subscribe and please like the video if you enjoyed it also feel free to leave comments thank you bye bye